Okay, so this is Junior Roberts coming to you with realjuniorroberts.com and in this video we're going to be doing a quick demonstration uh, for a CSEC Physics Paper 3 lab question. Alright, so let's go right into it. Okay, so I've laid out the components just as we saw in the circuit diagram. So I have my uh, batteries here. Right, this is representing my cell in the circuit diagram. We only had a single cell. But here we have three cells. Here's my resistor. I'm using a meter, in this case a milliameter. And instead of using the bulb, I'm using this uh, blue LED. My switch is right here. And I have the gap, which I'll be, I'll be placing my unknown components. Right? So these are my unknown components, A, B, C, D, and E. Right, so let me first go ahead and actually connect up this circuit. Okay, so here's my circuit now completed. Right, so I've connected the battery to the resistor, to the ammeter, to the blue LED. Right, and I have my empty space here, which I'll be placing my components A, B, C, D, and E. And I have my switch here. Right, so in order to connect the component I must ensure that the switch is open so here my switch is open so I will now connect component A and close the switch and observe what happens to the LED okay so this is the circuit right and again before I even close the switch if you notice I'm paying attention to the polarity when connecting my ammeter and the voltmeter and if you notice the ammeter is actually connected in series because whenever you're connecting an ammeter in a circuit, it must be connected in series, right? And I'm paying attention to the polarity. So this is the positive side of my battery, right? And it goes all the way around here and is connected to the positive side of the ammeter. Similarly, this is the negative side of the ammeter and it is connected all the way around to the negative side of the battery, right? So let me... Right, so this is the negative side, right? And our voltmeter... Right, since it's going to be measuring the voltage uh, drop across the resistor, it's connected parallel to the resistor. And again, I'm paying attention to the polarity. So this is the positive side of the voltmeter, and it's connected to the positive side of the circuit, right, with reference to the resistor. Similarly, negative side is connected to the negative side of the circuit with reference to the resistor. So we have component A connected, right, so I can now close the switch. Right, so let me close the switch right and we get a light so therefore it means that component a is a conductor so we're going to move on now to component b okay so this is component b in the circuit right and again we will close the switch right and when we close the switch we don't get a light so therefore it means then that component b is not a conductor so we're going to now move on to component c so here we have component C, and if we close the switch, we get a light in the LED. So we're going to now move on to component D. So this is component D, right? And we're going to now close our switch, right? And we get a light. So let's quickly move on to component E and see what happens. Okay, so here we have component E, and if we close the switch, we do not get any light. So it therefore means in that component D is not a conductor. So in other words, it's an insulator. So again, this was Junior Roberts coming to you with realjuniorroberts.com. If there was anything in this video that you would like to get further clarification on, please post it below in comments. If you're studying physics and you find that you're struggling with certain key topics, then sign up for my live interactive CSEC physics classes. Full details will be posted below in the description of this video. Like this video if it was helpful and click subscribe and the bell notification so you're updated whenever I post new videos like this. Thank you for watching.